Hello there, welcome to Ansys Artistry. Glad you could join me here for another pore painting video. Today I'm working on a wood round 12 inches in diameter. And today's painting is inspired and dedicated to Molly's artistry. If you're a fluid artist, you already know who I am talking about. If not, please do check out her on YouTube. She's really great at fluid art. So this video is inspired by her and it's called Starbust. So where you layer the paints in circles, starting from the center, you start layering it out, no base needed for this. And then you blow out using a hairdryer from the center outwards in all directions to make the painting look like a starburst. And that's the name of this painting. So let's go ahead and start this. For this painting, I'm just using three main uh, colors, yellow, green, and blue. So I have three shades of each of these colors. I'm gonna start with yellow in the center, um, three shades of yellow, and then followed by green around that. And then on the outer circle, I'm gonna have blue. I'm gonna mix up a little bit of white in between. Start with the center um, where the yellow is and blow it towards the green and end it off where the blue is. So from the center outwards in all directions and I hope it's going to turn out as beautiful as Molly does. So let's get this painting started. All right, let's start with cadmium yellow medium. Then I have chrome yellow. Then I have brilliant yellow. Next, I'm going to layer lime green. Then I have emerald green. Then I have thalo cyanine green. turquoise blue then I have turquoise just a little bit darker because it's a different brand all right and then ending with brilliant blue Oops. All right. I am going to put some white. Uh, maybe not in the center. All right, let's pop these air bubbles. Okay, now 
we start from the center and blow it outwards. Let's maybe put a little bit of white in the center because otherwise it's going to look like one shade right there. All right. I put a little bit of yellow in the middle because I didn't want to look completely white. So I'm hoping they're going to mix up and make a bright shade. All right, let's start blowing it out. All right, first view into this, I feel like the yellow took over a lot, but just look how pretty it looks. Oh my God, beautiful. I just don't like the white in here like that. I wish it was more uh, symmetrical. Just, <laughs> just look at how the effect that it created by blowing the yellow over the green and then over the blue. I still have the blue shading on the end of it. Very nice. I'm gonna try and move this, just the white around a little bit. Let's see. I think I ruined this portion. Let's see if I can put a little bit of the green in there and blow it again. I don't know. All right, I'm just going to leave it like this. Beautiful. If I do attempt this next time, I'm going to make sure I'm not going to put so much 
of the paint that I want in the center, put a little bit of it, not a whole lot because that can overtake the whole design. So I'm going to keep that in mind for next time. Well, I guess I'm done. I'll bring you down for a close-up. So here is the close-up. A beautiful blend of colors. But definitely the yellow took over a lot more than what I wanted. But then I could add something in the center once this dries up. So that is the plan for now. I am going to wait until it dries and see if this can be used as a background for another painting. So that's it for today. Please do support my art channel with your likes, shares and comments and please do subscribe. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye. Happy pouring.